Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure and Happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday. So what we have here is a worst case scenario flat tire. We're going to do a little attempt, a little redneck tire repair on it. It has three flat spots. I mean, how's that? Maybe a world record. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is put some air into it. Not that I expect it to hold air. I just want it to... Um, to kind of get a little bit more round before I attempt anything else. And maybe I can get it a little more round. I think that's as round as I'm getting it. Well, such is life. So that was the first thing I was going to do. Now that I've successfully turned it round, I just poked a screwdriver in there, poked it out. I'm going to drill four holes in it, about a quarter inch, and hopefully I don't push it back in by doing this. All right, I'm going to drill the other two. You guys get the idea. Okay, next thing you need to do is get your reciprocating saw and put a can of great stuff on there, the large gap filler, and you need to shake it. It says 30 seconds. We'll come back then. So your great stuff is all shook up. By the way, um, should you be buying this stuff, take a look at the bottom of the can. This stuff does expire, and if you get it anywhere near the expiration date, you better use it. If not, it's going to die on you. And you. Not quite sure how much to shoot into each hole, so I'm just kind of... I'm going to basically empty the whole can into this thing. This stuff costs about six bucks a can. And what I'm trying to do is I just kind of want to get this thing round enough to move it easily. So I dumped two cans of this great stuff into the tire and I think I just wasted $12 <laughs> so here's the tire after my redneck repairs and it's more or less round again and as I turn it depending on how uniform you are like there's a little bit of a soft spot there it's really the only soft spot I'm finding yeah, the rest of it's pretty good. I'm going to put it back on, and I think it's going to do what I want it to do, which is make it easier to move that um, quad around. Does it, does it pay? Well, let me put it on and we'll see. So, it's up on all four. And now the question was it worth it? Cost me about twelve fifty for the um, expanding foam uh, to do a back tire. It probably cost twice as much, close to twenty five bucks. Um, I don't think it's worth worth twenty five bucks to bring this alive. Using it for emergency tire repair, not really, because it takes. Um, eight to 24 hours to dry at least eight uh, maybe more so what are you gonna do foam up your tire and sit there for eight hours looking at it dry if you drive on it too soon the foam really doesn't do its thing properly so that's not going to work on it it's really better to foam it up today and uh, take it out to ride tomorrow um if you really really you know tight on money and you just need a temporary repair 
for twelve dollars I got the front tire fixed once again it cost you twenty five for the back you know you could do that until it's it's time to uh, to fix it should you need to use the rim again I will warn you that you are going to have to cut the tire off and um, you know cut the foam out of it and so forth so it is going to be a little bit more work to recycle that rim once again you're out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> your tire goes flat you can't ride it home you have some camping equipment you say you know what I'm just gonna foam it up and start riding you know two cans of foam and you're all good the thing is with that foam it's not really good for anything else and chances are if you uh, gashed up your tire this bad uh, you might also need medical attention so I don't know you guys can make the decision uh, I probably will not be doing this again I think for lawnmower type tires lawnmower sized tires you could fill one of those up with a can of foam and it you know it doesn't have the weight or the pounding that this thing's gonna have on it so I, I think I think for a lawnmower tire it's not a bad idea but I'm not thinking for an all-terrain vehicle it's the best thing to do folks I want you to keep your feet down your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day bye now